this country and the cattle trails where the doggies wander and the coyotes wail under Wyoming sky. Home again in old Wyoming to where my heart has always been. Got the pen old pony and the saddle to go to round up cattle like it used to do. Back home again in old Wyoming. How many did you get? Plenty. I said how many? About 200. Good. See you at the ranch. a very efficient organization, Mr. Edwards. This is the first case of rustling in the state since the... What is it? The report you asked for. Oh. Yes, here's the record up to now. I know the record. That's why I'm here. Government cattle's been stolen, and you haven't been able to stop it. We've had men down there. Miss Evans will tell you. There have been plenty of detectives. My uncle says the only trouble with them is they haven't stopped the rustling. Why didn't your uncle come to Cheyenne himself? He didn't think it was safe to leave the ranch. And we sent our best man down there. I'm not questioning the sincerity of your efforts. The point is, they haven't been effective. This is 1941, gentlemen. You're trying to fight modern rustlers with the same old-fashioned methods and the same detectives you've been using for 40 years. Cattle are still cattle. Just what do you have in mind? I don't know yet, but it'll be something different. Sure I do. You don't go around hugging strange men, do you? Wait a minute. Who am I? Well, you're... you're... Judy. Judy Evans. Judy? Well, gee, the last time I, I saw... I know. The last time you saw me, I had pigtails and freckles. And you had a tooth out in front, too. You knocked it out, remember? You were 15 and I was 10 and you were teaching me to box. Young fellow, that was nice shooting you did. Thanks. Tell me, Judy, how's Gabby? Fine, Roy. Just the same. Gee, that's 
good. I gather you two know each other. We were raised together on the same ranch. Well, what about Sally? Has she grown up, too? No, she's still eight. Oh, I mean, what does she look like? Did she turn out like you? I hate to break this up, but couldn't we go inside and talk? What about? I'm from the Department of Commerce. What I have to say might be better in private. Well, won't it wait? Gee, I haven't seen Judy for 10 years. Miss Evans will go with us. Well, in that case, OK. Gee, I never thought you'd ever turn out like this. Where have you been all these years, Roy? Oh, here and there, Texas, Montana, Canada, all over. How would you like to go back home for a while? I was just thinking about it. You might be able to help out. Help out? There's been a gang of rustlers working the ranges down there. The association hasn't been able to stop them. Gabby's range? Everybody's, the whole district. What do you mean, I might be able to help out? I'm in charge of the investigation. If you'd like to work for me, I think it could be useful. I thought you said you were from the Department of Commerce. That beef is earmarked for the federal government. That makes stealing it a federal offense. Well, what makes you think I could handle it? You did all right outside. I know, but... Any stranger I send down there would stick out like a sore thumb. If you've lived there, though, you could ease back without anybody thinking of it. You wouldn't have the word law written all over you. You'd have a much better chance to look around and see what's going on. Please do it, Roy. Gabby needs help. Are you going back? Right now. Well, what are we waiting for? You better not show up together. In fact, it would be better if nobody knew you'd seen each other here. Is there any rule against walking outside with her? I think we can allow that. Well, goodbye, gentlemen, and thank you. Goodbye, Miss Evans. Goodbye. I'll be right back. Fine, I'll go over it with you. Seems to me that young man is thinking more of Miss Evans than of the job. Not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd have known Gabby was in trouble. You might have kept in touch with us. I'm not much good at writing letters. You might even have come back sooner. I always meant to, but... Well, you know how it is. Besides, uh, how did I know you was going to grow up? Gabby's going to be awfully glad to see you. I've been facing around for you to say the same thing. I know you have. Well? I'm sure we'll all be glad to see you. What's the matter, son? Are you blind? Not anymore, pal. Not anymore. Boys, this Roy Rogers. 
Maybe you've heard me mention it. Yeah. Hi, Hi, boy. Roy. Seems to me I have. About ten times a day. Bob's my foreman. Hi, Bob. Well, well, nature, let's right? get back to the ranch. Boy, are some people going to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I better see about getting dinner. Judy! Sally! Come on out here! What's all the fuss about? It's not dinner time yet. Sally! Roy! What's going on here? It's all right, Red. If it was just a sisterly kiss. Oh, the heck it was. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't know you were her brother. He ain't by blood, but I raised him like a son. Uh, she ain't ever kissed me like that. I ain't ever kissed you at all. Well, maybe once or twice. Hey, Roy. Remember her? Well, that can't be Judy. Hello, Roy. Why, well, I can't believe it. Is that all you got to say? Yes, hello, Roy. Ain't you glad to see him? Well, sure she is. Sure is a messy kissing going on around here. We're all glad to see you. Gee, I can't get over the way you've grown up. I know. I mean, really? She used to have an awful crush on you. Remember, Judy? Have you uh, seen the house? It's been fixed up. Oh, there's plenty of time to see everything. He's going to be here a long while. Uh, ain't you, Roy? Well, I don't know, Gabby. My plans seem to be uh, a little bit indefinite. Well, I was kind of hoping you would. Things ain't been going so good around here lately. What's the matter, Gabby? Oh, you can tell him about it later. Come on, Roy, we want to talk to you. <laughs> More pie, Roy? Are you kidding? <laughs> Go on about the rustling, Gabby. Well, that's all there is to tell. The rate they're cutting into my herd, there won't be enough left by market time to pay the feed bill. <laughs> I'd be lucky if they don't steal the ranch house. Then that government subsidy was coming in pretty handy, huh? It's going to get me out of the red. Roy, we could sure use another man around here. Keeping them guards out at night leaves us mighty short-handed. Well, sir, Gabby, uh... Looks like you're going to have a hard time getting rid of me. Besides, I haven't had pie like this for 10 years. That a boy, son. Hey, I'm late for the meeting. What meeting? Over at the Hardy Ranch. Since old man Hardy died, his daughter's been running. You remember her? Well, sort of. Well, she's grown up, too. Boy, well, has she? Ever since she went east to that school, she thinks she's a glamour girl. Sally, now that ain't nice. Well, it burns me up the way that dame makes fools of every old goat in the county. Sally, she ain't a dame and I ain't an old goat. Oh, all right. She's right pretty. How can you tell what's under that makeup? Oh, come on. Let's get out of here. I still say she's a dame. What are they doing in there? Playing some more kissing games? Oh, forget it. What are you looking so big-hearted about? He kissed Judy, too. I said, forget it. Got my horse, Red? All saddled. Want to ride over with me, son? No, Gabby, I, I've been in the saddle for three days. I think I'll hit the hay early. Who do you want to guard tonight? Your turn, ain't it? Yeah, but I... Well, take Pete and Slim and keep over at the north line. Okay. See you in the morning, Bob.
What's on your mind, Ed? You want the boys to go out tonight? No. They've got a new plan to stop the rustling. Wait till I hear what it is, and then we'll really show them something. You know what you're doing, all right. But don't figure these guys too dumb. You're getting your share, aren't you? Sure, but I want it to last. If we play our cards right, this thing can go on for a long time. By next year, we'll I won't be, be here next year. Do you think I want to stick around this godforsaken country for the rest of my life? It's not so bad. Maybe you're just lonesome. Don't try to be subtle, Ed. It just isn't your style. You don't think anyone around here is good enough for you, do you? You can go now, Ed. I said you can go now. Remember now, no cussing. Well, you just get rid of your chewing tobacco, and I won't cuss. Come in, gentlemen. Hello, Mary. Hello, Jim. Won't you sit down? I think it was awfully nice of you to meet here. Well, we figured it wouldn't be right to ask you to go traipsing around the country at night. Well, it does frighten me, with all this rustling going on. Well, I'd like to catch them. We haven't had a necktie party around here for a long time. Harry, that any way to talk in front of a lady? What did they say in Cheyenne? Oh, no, same old stall. They told Judy they'd investigate. Investigate? What we need is action. Well, if you'll quit interrupting, you'll get it. Now, this is what the meeting's about. I've been having my boys take turns patrolling the range at night. But it's too big for them to do it alone. We've all got to go in together and make it work. We know you haven't got any men to spare. I haven't any cattle either. My herd's the smallest in the valley. If this keeps up, I'll be out of business. It'd only take a few of your men to cover this end. They couldn't possibly get them through the mountain. Well, I'll do whatever you gentlemen say. I really don't know much about this sort of thing. You just leave it to us. We'll take care of you. I'm sure you will. I fix up sort of a map here. This way we'll work it. Now, Harry and his men, they'll take care of the south side here. I'll have my boys ride up in here. Okay? Sure. How much longer? Oh, you'll be relieved in an hour or so. Better take another turn around. Okay. Morning, Bob. Morning. Putting on a new shoe? Yeah. Just throw it? Well, I don't know. I just noticed it this morning. Maybe this would have fitted. No, I don't think so. I picked it up out on the range last night. When I was a kid, we used to sleep on them for good luck. I'm not interested in when you were a kid. It's still a free country. Come on, Roy. Take him out, will you, Lloyd? Talking to Bob. Checking up some more? No, he was. Feel pretty good to get back? It sure does, Gabby. I figured that young fella good to kick around on his own for a spell. Makes him more willing to settle down when the time comes to 
Uh, you know, when he meets the right gal. Yes, sir. Every man ought to get himself married. Big families, too. Why, my parents had nine children. Hey, look out! There's only three sides the rustlers can work from. Over on the Hardy Ranch runs right into the desert. Well, can't they get them out that side? Not a chance. You couldn't run a mountain goat up them hills. Who's that? Must be Marion Hardy. You ain't seen her yet. Come on. Well, where are you going, Judy? I'll see you back at the ranch. Yeah, nonsense. It's about time you girls got along better. We get along fine, as long as we don't see each other. You'd think the state of Wyoming was big enough to hold two women, wouldn't you? <laughs> now you come along here. I wish I thought it was as easy as you do. What more do you want? They've left this end for us to watch. Nobody will be within miles of us. Just the same, we gotta take it easy. Here comes old man Whitaker. You remember Roy. Hi, Marion. It's been a long time, Roy. Are you here to stay? Well, for a while, anyway. We're trying to persuade him to make it permanent. Oh, by all means. This is Ed, your foreman. Roy Rogers. How are you, darling? So oh, fine, darling. You always look so healthy. I wish my skin weren't so sensitive. I'd love to be able to get sunburned. I'd like to see you sunburned. <laughs> you must come over to see me, Roy. Oh, I'd love to. How about, I've got it. I'll give a party for you. Well, oh, I don't want you to go to all that trouble. Oh, but I want to. It'll be fun. I haven't given a party since I left school. Let's see, how about Saturday night? Well, that's fine with me. Good. How about you, darling? You couldn't keep me away. Oh, fine, then it's all settled. I'll get in touch with the others. Well, gee, that's mighty nice of you. It's the least I could do for an old friend. All right. I thought you didn't like it out here. You said the patrols were liable to make it hard for you, didn't you? All right, Saturday night you'll have the whole range to yourself. Is that the only reason you're giving it? The only reason that concerns you. Now, ain't you ashamed of yourself? After all you said to her, she's going out of her way to give a party. You might at least have thanked her. Oh, you two thanked her enough. We was only trying to be polite. Sure, all I said was that it was mighty nice of her. Mm -hmm. And if you'd leaned any closer to her, you'd have fallen out of your saddle. Son, you can't win. Hey, Gabby, how about that third hair from the left? Oh, I don't see any reason why I should trim my whiskers just to go to a party. Won't make me dance any better. Of course not. And besides, you might take cold. Hey, I never thought of that. It'd be plumb suicide. Hey, Gabby, this thing won't work. Just give it a yank. <laughs> ah! Must have yanked it too hard. something? What? You look beautiful. You always do. Like a, oh, I don't know, like a painting or something. Why, Jim, you're getting positively poetic. I'd like to cut in, Jim. Sorry. I don't want to either, Jim, but I guess we'll have to. All right, but I'll be back. I was hoping you'd cut in. Well, thank you. Step aside here, Bill. You're too old to dance. I'll get going as soon as my joints warm up here. I was aiming to tag you. I'm aim. Now, Sally, don't be jealous. Me jealous? Dance with her now if you can. Oh. You're not very flattering. What? Looking at the clock. Did the dancers seem that long? Well, I don't like to leave the range unguarded this long. It isn't. They have men out. Only a handful. I'd feel much better. Say you wouldn't mind if I left for a while, would you? I'd like to kind of take a look around. Of course not. Go ahead. All right. I'll just ease out. See you later. Excuse me. Well, I 
was just going out to get a breath of fresh air. Oh, good. I'll go with you. I don't think that would be a very good idea. I think it'd be a lovely idea. It's awful chilly out there. You might catch cold. Well, then let's dance. You've only danced with me once, you know. All right, fine. What's Poison Puss up to now? Roy. Uh-oh. I'll break that up. persuasion, we finally talked Roy into doing a number for us. What are you going to sing? Uh, my old pal. Lift your feet, old pal of mine, you know the very long days of travel. My old pal, pal of mine, you'll always be until we go. Oh, the happy life fail to travel. My old Step for soon we will be there. There is someone waiting by an open gate for you and I. Someone who'll be glad to know we're still the same old pals until the prairie breezes blow. Oh, the top from the mountain level, my old pal, pal of mine. I know that some fellows long for riches, some fellows long the throne. Your feet, old pal of mine, you know. Oh, the very long days of travel, my old pal, pal of mine. You'll always be until we go. Oh, the happy night trail to travel, my old pal, pal of mine. Your step for soon, we will be there. There is someone waiting by an open gate for you and I. Someone who'll be glad to know we're still the same old pals until the prairie breezes blow. The rustlers. What? Where? On the West Range. They jumped this and Bill's trailing them. All right, come on, men. Which way they went? No, I didn't. I was just starting after them when they winged me. Gabby, you and Carl better take care of him. We'll split up in pairs and cover the range. You want to ride with me, Roy? Sure. Well, there's no use going any farther. We've covered almost to the mountains. They must have gone out the other end. Do you want to backtrack? No, I think I'll stop by Marion's. I want to make sure she's all right. I'll see you in the morning. Right. Go on through and help load the cattle. When Chuck gets that calf, he'll close the gates. Up. 
What are you doing here? I was picking up that stray. All right, drop your gun. Get down off your horse. Jim. I want to talk to you, Marion. Certainly, Jim. Come in. Well, any luck? I caught one of them. You did? He was one of your men. One of... Oh, Jim, you must be joking. I know it's a shock, but I wanted to tell you before I brought him in. Who is it? Where is he? Chuck. He's outside. Are you sure, Jim? I just can't... I'm believe... afraid so. Where are the rest of the boys? But surely you don't think they're all in on it. I don't know. Oh, Jim, what are we going to do? I'm so frightened. I think you better come into town with me. I'd feel safer if you didn't stay here. That's sweet of you. I'll change my clothes and be right out. Ed, Jim's in the house. He got Chuck. Did he talk? Not yet. He's taking him into town. I'm supposed to go with him. He's waiting for me. Go on inside. But we can't let Chuck get arrested. I'll take care of that. Go on before he misses you. Lay low. <sighs> I couldn't wait to change. I'm much too nervous. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of now. Come on. I'll lock the door. All right. Get him out of here. Drop him over on the West Range and get rid of his horse, too. Okay. What's the matter with you? You've killed him. What'd you expect me to do? Let him turn Chuck in? I don't know. I I thought you'd... Oh, don't turn sane on me. You knew what was waiting for him, and you walked him into it. Stop it. Told you, one... you told me a lot of things. I never told you to kill anybody. Well, you little fool. What did you think this racket was? Don't you talk to me like that. Anytime you don't like what I say, go on into town and tell them why. But remember, you'll be in the next cell. I'm not working for you anymore. From now on, it's 50-50. Have you finished? Give me the key and go. Is that an order? Hook. Haven't seen Jim this morning, have you? No, I haven't. Why? He didn't show up in town last night, so I thought you might have known where he was. Well, we separated. I'll check with the others. You haven't seen Jim yet this morning, have you? Well, no. I haven't seen him since we split up. But I'll send the boys out to look around. Okay. That's funny. Jim ain't in the habit of hiding out like that without telling somebody. That's what we thought. Hello, Roy. Good morning. Come in. No, thanks. I just wondered if you'd seen Jim. Jim? When? Last night. No, no, not after the party. Why, is something wrong? 
Well, I don't know. He didn't show up in town, and we were checking all the ranches in case he stayed overnight somewhere. Well, you, you don't think anything's happened to him, do you? Oh, I don't think so. Jim can take care of himself. Sure, he'd probably slip out. Well, I'll let you know. I wonder why he thought Jim came here. I just heard. How did it happen? Shot in the back. Who found him? Bob, over on the West Range. The West? Is that right, Bob? You ought to know you was with him. I know, but we weren't. You weren't what? Nothing. I don't know what it's like where you've been hanging out, but around here, when two men go out on a job together, we figure two of them ought to come back. You don't know what I mean. I can make myself clear. Fair now. Talking like that ain't gonna do any good. Where is it, Gabby? In there. You better lay off. Or you'll talk yourself into trouble. I can take care of myself. Yeah? So can Roy. Am I wrong? No, go ahead. I'll meet you. Sand. Nice little setup you got here. All right, stick them up. Now, wait a minute, Bob. You've got things wrong. I just found this. I know. You never saw it before. That's right. I say, but you can't talk your way out of this. Now, listen, Bob. I'll do the talking when we get back to town, and this time they'll believe me. You've got things all figured out, haven't you? I'll take that gun of yours, too. I never did like getting shot in the back. Get your horse.
that's one of the Hardy men. Mm-hmm. Then they're the ones that have been... That's what I was trying to tell you. Guess I had you wrong. <laughs> I was trying to tell you that, too. I'm sorry about what I said back there. That's all right, Bob. Forget it. You can help me now. What do you want me to do? Get Gabby and the boys and bring them to the Hardy Ranch. I'll meet you there and we'll take them. Now, wait a minute. Not so fast. It's all right to put two and two together, but can you prove it? You just bring them there. I'll have all the proof you need. What was he doing? I don't know. Okay. Ed, where are you going? That Rogers is getting too nosy. Wait a minute, Ed. He hasn't done anything. No? First he comes around asking a lot of questions. Then he goes snooping around the tunnel. Well, that's enough for me. I'm not waiting until he gets a rope tied around now my Now, you neck. listen to me, Ed. If anything happened to Roy, they'd never let up on us. You seem mighty anxious to protect him. I just don't want to get into any more trouble than we have to. Here he comes now. Let me talk to him. I'll find out if he knows anything. There may be nothing to worry about. Suppose there is. Well, I told you about Jim, didn't I? You didn't like Jim as much. I don't like any man enough to go to jail. You believe that, don't you? Mm-hmm. But just to make sure, I'll be listening. Naturally. See Miss Hardy? I'll call her. You want to wait in there? Thanks. What's all the rush? Lock this guy up and get saddled. What for? What's all this? Hurry up. I'll tell you later. Come on down, chum. You heard what he said. He said hurry. Roy found out about the rustling. It's the Hardy men that have been doing it. One of them took a shot at us. No. He went ahead to the ranch and said for us to beat it over there. I'll be right with you. I knew it. I knew there was something fishy about her. Marion? She ain't in on it. Of course she is. What makes you say that? How do you know? Well, just look at her, the way she talks, batting those phony eyelashes around. Oh, don't talk nonsense. Don't make a girl a criminal just because you don't like her eyelashes. Where do you think you're going? With you. The heck you are. Oh, but I... You're staying right here, both of you. He'd be awful mad if we disobeyed him. Hello, Roy. Well, hello, Marion. Right-handed little thing to keep around these days. Yes, I feel better even having it in the house. The only trouble is I'd probably be afraid to use it. All you have to do is point it and squeeze. It'll do the rest. I wouldn't even want to touch it. Don't let's talk about guns anymore after what happened to Jim. I... Marion, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. I found out something today. It'll probably be hard for you to believe. Well, what is it, Roy? Your men are mixed up in this wrestling. My men? Well, you must be wrong. I would have known about it. You couldn't know what was going on out on the range at night. They've been using you for a blind. That's why no one suspected. But are you sure, Roy? Do, do you have definite proof? Yes, I found out where they were taking them through. One of them took a shot at me. I don't know what to say. Uh, it wasn't your fault. Well, what are you going to do? There's only one thing I can do. Turn them in. But suppose you did. Don't you see, people would blame me. They'd think I had something to do with it. Look, look, I'll fire them. I'll send them away. Nobody will know the difference. I'm sorry, Marion. All right, tell them. Tell the whole country. See if I care. 
You don't want me to suffer for what they did. But they killed Jim, too. You don't want me to forget about that, do you? Listen to me, Roy, please, for the last time. Is he dead? No, I got him too high. This proves it against him. When he comes to, we'll know all about it. There's one thing that I'm not sure of yet. That was it. Only I forgot to tell you it had to be loaded to work. They've got Roy on the road? Yeah, she'll be right along. She will not. What's the matter? Nothing except she's running the whole thing. Get on your horse. She, she what? Here comes Mary and Hardy. Wonder where she's going in such a hurry. I'll stop her and find out. Oh, give it to her, Judy, give it 
She'll be running for sheriff. <laughs> I guess now that you've finished your job, you'll be going back to Cheyenne. Oh, I don't know. That all depends. On what? A lot of things. Gabby, you'd be awfully glad if you'd stay. Say, this is where I came in. When the cowboy starts the courting, he's a mighty sad affair. He doesn't know for nothing, and he doesn't even care. When the cowboy starts to woo him, the range it goes to see. He's like a crazy burro in a field of loco weeds. Now he slops the cows, and he milks the pigs, and he feeds the chicken hay. Then he gathers up all the nests at night and throws the eggs away. When the cowboy starts to courting, some pretty turtle dove. It's there they well to the old corral when the cowboy falls in love. So I slop the cows and I milk the pigs and I feed the chickens hay. Well, I don't know, but if it's so, I still think I'm doing okay. When the cowboy starts to courtin', some pretty turtle dove. It's fairly well to the old 